the head of public service, Felix Koskei, says the country has lost 70% of its wildlife in the last 30 years, owing to poaching, uh, destruction by communities and corrupt individuals, among them those under the protection of government agencies. Koskei, who was on a familiarization tour of the Kenya Wildlife Service in Nairobi, warned the government will not relent in weeding out corrupt individuals who are destroying the country's flora and fauna, resulting in a slump in the tourism sector due to mismanagement and plunder of public resources. Joseph Ohung with details of this visit. As government steps up its efforts to rid its Department of Rampant Corruption, the head of public service, Felix Koskei, Wednesday visited Kenya Wildlife Service offices. It is here that he issued a warning to KWS leadership and staff to desist from rampant practices and wastage of resources. We cannot continue to watch as few greedy individuals compromise our lives and that of generations to come. We cannot continue to be a country of stalled projects poor quality infrastructure, collapsing bridges and buildings, degraded forests, stolen or misallocated funds, and poor service delivery. According to Koske, the country has lost 70% of its wildlife and a whopping 24 billion shillings worth of revenue per year due to graft in KWS. He warned officials who have been aiding poaching, degradation of wildlife ecosystem, waste, theft, loss, and this allocation and resisting audit that their days are numbered. He also reiterated that there will be no sacrificial lambs in the war on draft and those peddling false influence will not be entertained. Don't take up instructions that are illegal. Let us be fair. Let that be objective, whether it is promotion, whether it is it is appointments, whether it is transfers. Anything that you do to a human being and wildlife, let us do justly. To Cap West, the head of public service says the government has rolled out digital payments, urging those visiting the parks to comply. KWS was also urged to leverage on partnership with local and international stakeholders to boost its services, attract more revenue and be self-sustaining. We are taking action in this country. We are dead serious about this. Corruption has to stop, ladies and gentlemen. And for me coming here with other institutions, it's deliberate. Because there's a lot of hope in turning around KWS very quickly. For Prime Edition, I'm Joseph Wahungu.